Echidna Facts 1. Echidna Information, The Spiny Anteater The echidna is a native of Australia and New Guinea, pronounced Echidnu. It might be mistaken for a porcupine or a hedgehog because of its spiny back and long, pointed snout, but in reality, neither animal is related to it. The family name Tashaglossidae, which means fast tongue in Greek, includes the echidna. This is appropriate because the echidna eats ants, which are its favorite food, with its long beak and sticky tongue. In actuality, the echidna is known as the spiny anteater. 2. Echidnas lay eggs. How can they be mammals? Echidnas are intelligent animals. They have spines and lay eggs, which distinguish them from mammals in many ways. Echidnas do, however, have the traits required to be categorized as mammals. They are warm-blooded, have fur, their spines are actually stiff hairs, and give milk to their young. They are monotremes or mammalian egg layers. The platypus is the only other mammal that lays eggs. The only monotremes still in existence are the four different species of echidna and the platypus. 3. It's a fact, echidna babies are called puggles. In the winter, from July to August, echidnas mate. The leathery egg that the female echidna produces falls into the supple folds of her stomach, creating a pouch, as she curls up after giving birth. The egg hatches after 10 days, and a baby echidna known as a puggle is born. It has no fur or spines. The puggle spends its first two months of life in its mother's pouch, much like a kangaroo with her joey. The puggle is sucking the milk from its mother's pores as it drips onto the hairs in her pouch at this time. Once a week, the mother returns to the puggle's safe hiding place in a burrow to feed it. The baby echidna is mature enough to survive on its own at seven months old. 4. How many species? The short-beaked echidna and three long-beaked echidnas make up the four species of echidna. Species of echidna echidna with a short beak, Tachyglossus sciliatus, long-beaked echidna of the west, Zaglossus bruini, long-beaked echidna owned by Sir David, Zaglossus Attenborough. The well-known British naturalist and broadcaster Sir David Attenborough are honored by the name Sir David's long-beaked echidna, Zaglossus Attenborough. A. Short-beaked echidna. The most common echidna species, the short-beaked variety can be found in both Australia and New Guinea. It can be found in the forests of the highlands, the desert, and the lowlands. Despite being a warm-blooded mammal, the echidna cannot withstand extreme cold or heat. If you are lucky enough to see one, it will probably be at dawn or dusk during the summer, or at noon during the winter. B. Long-beaked echidnas Three different long-beaked echidna species can be found in New Guinea. Because they are difficult to observe because they live at a high altitude in mountain forests, little is known about them. Echidnas with long beaks are larger than those with short beaks and prefer to eat worms as opposed to ants. 5. Echidna Habitat and Diet Echidnas are solitary animals that live in various locations throughout their range. They may reside in a burrow, ground nest, one day, a hollow log the next, and a cave or some undergrowth the next. Although echidnas can swim well, they dislike the rain and will seek shelter from it for days if necessary. Fortunately, echidnas don't require frequent meals because one substantial meal will satisfy them for several days. The perfect meal is a log covered in termites. 6. Defense Mechanisms The timid echidna has a few ways to defend itself if it senses danger. In the beginning, its brown or black color acts as camouflage to keep it out of harm's way. Second, when on hard ground, it may curl up into a ball protecting its spineless stomach and snout while exposing only its spines. On soft ground, however, it does something really cool. The echidna burrows into the ground, leaving only its spines exposed to protect it from predators, using its short, powerful front and back legs and sharp claws. The echidna's strong body also allows it to wedge itself into rock crevices, making it difficult for predators to pull it out. 7. Echidna Threats only the dingo, a large lizard, goanna, wild cats, and foxes are ferocious enough to take on an echidna. Snakes will also infiltrate and eat the pugs. 8. Are echidnas endangered? The Sir David's long-beaked echidna, eastern long-beaked echidna, and western long-beaked echidna are three of the four echidna species that are critically endangered despite having so few predators. This is a result of overfishing and habitat destruction in their forest habitat. 9. Echidna Facts, Conclusion The echidna is an amazing animal that is a rare hybrid of a marsupial, reptile, and mammal. 
keep your hands away from those jagged spines and respect its privacy if you are fortunate enough to find one.